Michelle Caruso Cabrera, and welcome to Cudlow and Company. Larry Cudlow has the night off, but don't worry. We still aim to be right on America, right on business, and right on the money. Presidential candidate Ron Paul tells us why the Federal Reserve, poof, we should just get rid of it. We don't need it. He says it's time to return to the gold standard. Coming up next, is it time to just abolish the Fed? Presidential candidate Ron Paul, there he is, tells us why he wants to bring back the gold standard. Is it time to abolish the Fed and go back to the gold standard? That's what our next guest is saying. Joining us is Republican Congressman and Presidential Candidate Ron Paul. Here to debate the proposition as well is Faz Shakir. He's Research Director at the Center for American Progress. Guys, good to see you. Representative, let me start with you. We were thinking of you because Alvaro Vargas Llosa published a, an article in the wake of the Bear Stearns situation saying, you know what, the Fed ought to stay out of all this stuff. The Fed just shouldn't exist. You believe the same thing. Make the case. Well, for the, for the f first, first reason is it's not authorized in the Constitution, so it's, not, it's an illegal institution. And the second reason, it's an immoral institution because we have delivered to a secretive body the privilege of creating money out of thin air. If you or I did it, we'd be called counterfeiters, so why have we legalized counterfeiting? But the economic reasons are overwhelming. The uh, Federal Reserve is, is the creature that destroys value. Uh, it, uh, you know, this station talks about free market capitalism, uh, and you can't have free market capitalism if you have a secret bank creating money and credit out of, out of thin air. They become the central planners. They decide what interest rates should be, what the supply of money should be. How does the they gold standard to, solve that? Well, because it maintains a stable uh, currency and a stable value. The, if the Fed concentrated more on, on stable money rather than stable prices, they create new money, push up uh, prices in, in stocks and in commodities and in houses, and then they have to come in to rescue the situation. They create the bubbles, then they come in and they try to rescue it, and they do nothing more than try to do price fixing. But uh, capitalism depends in capital comes from savings, but there's no savings in this country, so this is all artificial. It, get, mm -hmm. it creates the misdirection and the malinvestment and all the excessive debt, and it always has to have a correction. Since the Fed's been in existence, uh, you know, the, the dollar has lost about 97% of its value. You're supposed to encourage saving, but if something's losing its value, why, why save dollars? Fast. You know, there's no encouragement whatsoever. You have any counters to this? <laughs> well, you know, I think that Congressman Paul and I would probably agree on some of his diagnoses. I think he's right on some of his, his criticisms of both foreign and economic policies. But I think that you know, when he comes talk, starts talking about solutions, they're both extreme and impractical. I think to, to say that you want to abolish the Fed just because they've made some bad decisions is like throwing the baby out with the bathwater. I mean, President Bush, God knows, has made a terrible amount of decisions over the past seven years. Do we want to uh, abolish the presidency? No. And I think that the reason that we want to keep the Fed is because over the past seven years, we've had a pretty good stability in our financial system. Prior to the existence of the Fed, in the late 1800s, early 1900s, we had bank runs after bank runs, panics after panics, because we didn't have a one centralized system that was ensuring the stability of our financial markets. And now we have the Fed, and it's been pretty successful for the past 70 years. Representative Paul? Well, I would say stability. If that's what we see today, stock market up 400, <laughs> down 300, uh, financial bubbles bursting, housing bubbles, and then the Federal Reserve comes in and comes up with these new creatures where we are literally buying this bad uh, mortgage debt. Now the mortgage debt is literally the standing behind our currency. It used to be gold and silver, and that restrained the government's printing press. But then it became treasury bills. But now we trade treasury bills, and we take these mortgage security, and then we use that as a backing for our currency it makes no sense whatsoever it is destined to destroy the money no fiat currency has ever listed gold is 6,000 years old and it still maintains its purchasing power oil prices really are very stable in terms of gold but everything is going up in cost and people who think there's some type of stability today well all they have to do is go to their grocery store people are suffering fast, was, because was, the exactly middle class what I was gets wiped out. out I mean the, 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 what a lot of proponents of the Fed say is that they 
help produce stability yeah. within the economic system, Faz. Yeah. But but a lot of folks would argue we've seen a lot of boom and bust for the yeah, last. Yeah, no, there, there's definitely booms and busts. There's business cycles. There's stock. There's there's tech bubbles. There's housing bubbles. But it's the Fed that has come in and rescued the situation to ensure that but there's did they stability. Cause it? No, I don't believe so. I think that there's times when I've 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 questioned uh, Chairman Greenspan's judgments about why he's lowered the Fed rates, particularly at a time of war to increase money and make it feel like it's free to people. Yeah, I, I question some of the judgments, but that doesn't but mean the system is bad. But isn't that the heart bad. of Representative Paul's argument? No, because that, he's that, saying that, that the system. Led to no, no, he's saying the system. Unevenness. He's saying the system is wrong, and he wants to abolish the system. The right. system is what yeah, has I, preserved I, stability in, in this whole situation. I mean, remember the Great Depression. The Great Depression occurred uh, because there was not liquidity in the markets. Uh. If we had a gold standard, it would have made the Great Depression even worse. It would have been greater. Guys, no, it was we, the lack of the gold. It was the lack of the gold standard in the 20s when the Fed inflated. We didn't have the Great Depression before the Fed. The Fed gave us the inflation of the 20s and then the depression of the 30s. The Fed created that. It's because of the neglect of the gold standard, just like we do now. We create we create the bubbles today gentlemen. because we both conservatives and liberals want to enhance big government, and this is a se seductive way to tax <laughs> the middle class. That's gentlemen, what it is. We it's could a go tax on and on. on. Thank you so much. We appreciate it, Congress. Sure. Thank Ron you. Paul and Faz Shakir.